you people of God, I want you to comment fire as you are jumping in the broadcast. I am so excited to be here. Wow, wow, wow. Are you ready to be blessed and amazed by the power of Jesus Christ? Amen. I want you to tag somebody you love, even somebody you don't like. Tag a hater and a friend. Amen. And share this on your wall because one of your favorite prophetic voices, Dr. Pastor B. Lim, Ben Lim, it's here in the house, and my oh my, this month of May is going to be a month of mega miracles. I want you to comment mega miracles, amen. I'm telling you, friends, there's going to be so much that God's going to do in your life, in this nation, just all around universally and globally. Hallelujah. So I want to welcome you that are joining on Facebook and also on YouTube. Praise God. Uh, I'm so excited. We are in the middle of a powerful conference uh, here in Orange County, California. And uh, wow, literally in a few hours, we have our VIP panel, myself, Jake Hamilton, John Ramirez, uh, ex satanist incredible man of God. And, and tonight as well, evangelist John Ramirez is preaching and ministering. And then tomorrow, myself and Jake, but friends, jump in the river. You can register still. Amen. And uh, in a little bit, I'm going to talk about uh, actually, I'll talk about it now. VIP panel online. If you're watching online, you can join us specifically for the VIP panel only online. So go ahead and join. Of course, it's better if you're in person. It's always better when you're in the room because there's going to be personal prayer and impartation. And uh, again, wow. I, I love it when we're able to be in the same room with generals and with men and women of God. Amen. But friends, comment below where you're watching from. Uh, hallelujah. I want to give you some shout outs. Give us some hearts and likes in this place. As I've said, uh, this is the prophetic word of the month for the month of May. And uh, if you know, if you've been following me in our ministry, I've been releasing prophetic words of for the year and for the month. For, no, for a long time. I mean, not a long, long time for me. Maybe five, six, seven years now. And I like to go into the Hebraic roots, the Torah, the rabbinical, uh, Hebraic foundation of the Bible. And I also like to go into historical accounts, which will then lead us to prophetic perspective and intel. So this month of May, it's going to be a life-changing month, a month of mega miracles. So I want to say mega miracles. Help me build up the algorithm and the atmosphere in this place. I want to give you some shout outs. Amen. Here on Facebook. Hello from Trinidad, South Africa. I love my South Africa family. Hallelujah. We got Trinidad, South Africa. Oh, Hetty Mills as well from South Africa. Violet from the Netherlands. Praise God. Kim from Chilliwack, BC. We got the nation in here strong. My moon, Gisawayan, sorry if I misspelled your name, Rob Filler. You know, I love the fillers. Can't wait to see you next week. Sherry, good to see you from OC. Oklahoma, Ashley De La Garza. New Mexico, Cayenne Torres. Fayetteville, North Carolina, Nina Fox, bless you. Amen. Pittsburgh, PA. Katie Blakes, I will be in Pennsylvania, not next week, but in two weeks. Please come. I'd love to meet you in person. Follow mine. Sarha, mega miracles. Amen. Pastor Sharon, good to see you. Loveth Ukama Apku from Nigeria. Sweden, praise God. DC says, last night was so hot. Fire, fire, fire. I know even with the sound 
uh, malfunctions. We apologize once again, but today it's going to be a different day. Amen. Glory to the Margaret K. Our Marshallese family from Salem. Bless you. Love you. Thanks for tagging friends. Tyler McDonald, my South Africa friend. <clears throat> we miss you, my friend. Bless you. Yahweh, amen, from Salem. Yahweh, Yahweh. <laughs> Daniel Clark, Brandonton, Florida. Marcella, good to see you. We love you. And Dr. Robert Salerdin. Thank you, Weaver. Good to see you. Lebanon, PA. Apostle Barbara from OKC, bless you, bless you. Help me to build up the algorithm, my friends, because in a few minutes, I'm going to begin to release the word of the Lord. It's going to be jam-packed with goodness and glory. Rachel Richardson on YouTube. Paul Barber, good to see the Barbers here. Motlasi Adoro from Joburg, bless you, one of my favorite cities in the world. Sarang from YouTube, bless you. And if you don't know, sarang in Korean means love. Jamie or Jamie from Canada, bless you. Lynn Crosby on YouTube from Florida. Thomas Malangu from South Africa. Jürgen Meyer, one of our avid followers. And Rob uh, or Paul, hope, hopefully we see you in Crystal today. Alison Moore from Wisconsin. Child of Most High, Shalom. Aaron Bauer from PA. Janelle Sidrius from Canada, eh? Lisa from Atlanta, Georgia. You know, that's one place I've barely been to or ministered at, which is ATL. Let the doors be open in Jesus' name. Lisa Wallace, amen. Victoria Mejorado from H-Town, Tejas. Erlita Sepayong from Indonesia. Salamatatang. Salamatatang. Amen. Yes, yes. Kim Amsterdam from the Netherlands. Hallelujah. Somebody say hallelujah. Well, I could feel the hunger. Angie on No Hosa from Palm Dizzy of North. I could feel the hunger. Lynn Benjamin, you got a great name. You almost sound like my name, Benjamin Lim from South Africa. Jesus. Jesus. Looking fresh and well, Brother Lynn. Thank you. I feel good. Sarah from Kenya. Colleen Julie's from South Africa. Amen. Sarah Angel from Aussie, Aussie, oi, oi. The land of koalas, wallabies, and kangabangas. Haha. <laughs> Yakwe from Springfield, Missouri. Can't wait to be in Kansas City. In the month of June, we got a great tent set up. Amen. C.H. Rome from High River, Alberta, Canada. Wow, I got my Marshallese family representing strong. Yahweh from Washington, Auburn. Lucia, God bless you. Laura Alani, Alanis. Eric Momin. Kenny says, thank you so much for praying for us in the word yesterday. Oh, amen. I recognize you, brother. You are the entrepreneur businessman. Feli, Michelle Wood says, love you. Hungry, hungry, Sherry Dyke. Melissa Filler. Amen. Come on, your birthday's coming up. Alice from South Africa. I'm very happy to see my South Africa family strong. Listen, friends. All right, I want you to share this on your wall. Help me to build up the room and the algorithm and the atmosphere because this is a breakthrough broadcast and this atmosphere is conducive for miracles. Who here knows that when you connect with the prophet and with the prophetic word of the Lord, one word can shift your life. Not only will it give you perspective, but the perspective begins to form and formulate a room or a template or a wineskin so that you can dive right into the glory of God. So this word is gonna be crucial because this is gonna be a great, great month. Gail and Beville from Cape Town. Your word is powerful. Yes, his word is very powerful. Thank you, my moon, for sharing. Glory to God. Carolyn Ward, good to see you. Thank you, Lord. Sheldon, good to see you from Trinidad. 
Dominic and Noah are watching with me. Love you. I'm sure I know who that is. Oh, Feli. Oh, that's the family. Nassau, Bahamas. Tiffany, bless you. I ministered once in Nassau. Oh, Tiffany G. Yeah, Bahamas. Maryland from Hawaii. Aloha. Victoria Morado says, honor the prophet, king the prophet's reward. Amen. Aga Mam from Korea. God bless you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Brunswick, Georgia. Well, praise God. Well, friends of God, bless you, bless you, bless you. I want you to comment May of Mega Miracles because this month is going to be off the charts. It's going to be off the heezy. Amen. Now, I want to begin to get into the word because <clears throat> we are officially in the Hebrew month of ER. Okay. And of course, every month uh, in the Hebraic calendar, not only is there a name, a word, but there's also an impartation. There's an anointing in every month. There's a grace over every month. And this Hebrew month, this is the month of ER. And literally in English vernacular, it's spelled I-Y-A-R. I-Y-A-R. So this month of ER, this really is a month of healing. Now, I want to go into some scripture. Uh, I want to release the scripture, the main key verse uh, for today. Amen. If you're excited to receive, I want you to say amen. Hallelujah. I want you to say amen. So let's go into this here. First and foremost, let's go over to the word of God. Exodus 15, 26 to 27. Exodus 15, 26 to 27. And here the word of the Lord says this. Here the word of the Lord says, and if you diligently listen to the voice of the Lord, and you do that what is right in his sight. And if you give ear to his commandments and keep all the statutes, I will put none of these diseases upon you, which I have brought upon the Egyptians. For I am the Lord that healeth thee. I am the Lord that healeth thee. And this morning I woke up singing a song. I am the God that healeth thee. I am the Lord. Your healer. Let me ask you, friends. Have you been going through some chaos? Have you been going through some shaking? Even from Passover to now, as we left Egypt, as we left the grave. In the last month of April, there's been a lot of shaking. A lot of people are feeling depleted, sad, sorrowful. Because you left Egypt. You, and as you're leaving Egypt and you're wandering, you feel a sense of vacancy or absence, you feel a sense of emptiness in your soul. Well, who here knows you have to empty yourself to fill yourself afresh. You have to empty yourself of the old. You have to break ties with the old nature, with your old self, to step into the new and to step into the glory. And here the Lord is saying, I'm your healer. He is your healer. He's going to release healing in this month of may because the month of er i y a r in the hebrew calendar is the month of healing it's the month of i am the god that healeth thee so er i y a r that literally is the acronym of i am the lord your healer this month there will be a distinction between you and the egyptians I need you to hear this. There will be a distinction, a differentiation. There will be such a different anointing on your life this month where it feels like April, you resurrected. There was the shaking, the crucifixion, the death, the burial in the month of April. It's like you rose again and the tomb was rolled and there was a rolling and a shaking, a betrayal. Your friends scattered. Come on, who am I talking to? Your best friend scattered. You felt depressed and oppressed. And suddenly, in this month of May of ER, there's going to be a differentiation, a distinction. It's going to be night and day different. This month is going to be filled with the Holy Ghost. Amen. Because this month is the month of Pentecost, of Shavuot. 
And of course, Shavuot is one of the major feasts of the biblical feast. There are seven feasts. Some say, preach Dr. Ben. There's seven major feasts, and there's three minor feasts. And the seven major feasts are the appointed times of God. Somebody say, I have a date with destiny. Come on, I need you to write, I have a date with destiny. Yes, you do. Because Shavuot Pentecost is about the outpouring of the Holy Ghost. But you see, the outpouring of the Holy Ghost, it stands for the promise of the Father being fulfilled. This month of May, there is going to be promises fulfilled. I guarantee it. I prophesy according to the word of the Lord. Promises are going to be fulfilled. And you're going to go from empty to filled and overflowing. You're going to go from empty, filled with depression and anxiety and like your world just turned upside down. You're going to go from emptiness to filled to overflowing. Because May, the month of ER, has the Hebrew feast, the appointed time of harvest and the outpouring of the Holy Ghost and of promises fulfilled. So today, I prophesy. Everything that is delayed in your life will be broken, will be overturned. And this month, the Spirit of the Lord is going to fulfill a number of things in your life, including your heart's desires, including the promise of the Father. Now, let me ask you, do you have some promises that God has given you? Do you have some prophecies, some prophetic promises that the lord has spoken over your life and your family this month my friends there is an expectation and an anticipation to connect with god's word this month somebody say this is my month this month of may of er there's going to be promises fulfilled by the father by the father of lights the bible says every good and perfect gift is given from above the Father of lights. Don't you love that passage? Because every gift or grace releases light, illumination, vision into your life. Are you ready to see the eyes of God? Are you ready to see the glory of God? Are you ready to receive grace upon grace? And are you ready to receive from the Father of lights. If you're ready to receive, say amen. So this month of May, my friends, is a month of mega miracles. And I, I need to say this. I need you to catch this here. And if you're with me today, say amen. And give some hearts and likes. And share this on your wall. Because remember what happened in the upper room. It started off of 500 people. The Bible says, Apostle Paul says in Corinthians, it's inscribed in the Bible. There are 500 people that heard Jesus' command instruction. Stay in Jerusalem until you receive the promise of the Father. Someone say, until. There were 500 people, but after a period of 10 days, come on, someone say open window. Someone say open heavens. Someone say Kairos opportune time. There were 500 people, but after 10 days, only 120 remained. It's a fight for the things of God to come to pass. You must tarry. You must press in. You must yield yourself to the process of dying to flesh, of dying to self. Because not everybody is going to receive the fullness. Someone say fullness. Not everybody is going to receive the fullness. I don't know about you, but I don't want to just receive one measure. I want to overflow in the fullness. So what's happening this month is God is rearranging your associations. God is rearranging your attitude. He is shaking and shifting because there's an outpouring of promise and an outpouring of glory. That's about to be released. And God 
is about to fulfill his promise and his word in your life. If you're with me today, I want you to say amen. Amen. Now, people of God, there is a fight for the promises of God. But I want to prophesy, as you connect to the grace in this room, every word that God has spoken will come to pass. The upper room is a birthing room. It is the birth of the church. Pentecost is the feast, the appointed timeline of God. Hallelujah. For the fire of God to burn every sinful desire, the old nature, and every spirit of witchcraft and attack that's set up against you. It's the fire of God. And that fire is going to differentiate you. It's going to set you apart. That fire is going to cause you to be distinct. Amen. If you're with me today, say amen. So now let's go back to our key verse, Exodus 15, 26, 27. I am the God, the healer of thee. I will put none of the diseases I put on the Egyptians. I will not put on you. What does that mean? That means you will be blessed. You will be healthy. You will be wealthy. You will be happy. You will be joyful. You will be abundant with joy, with dreams fulfilled. Hallelujah. You will be walking fully free in divine health, wealth, joy, and laughter. Amen. You will wear the best, have the best, look the best. That's what the glory of God will do. You will be so different from Egypt that people will not be able to recognize you. Now, that's a good word. You're going to be so different from Egypt, Shikaraba, that people will not be able to recognize you. Why? Because you are a new breed. You are a part of the new breed. Now, this month, ER, it stands for the acronym of I am the God that healeth thee. Don't you love that Jesus, Yeshua, by his stripes were healed? Don't you love that the Bible says he sent his word and they were healed? Don't you love that one of the names of God is Jehovah Rapha? Come on, somebody. He is not a Rastafarian, he is a Rafa, which means healer. So this month, hallelujah, he's going to release divine healing in your life, in your body, in your finances, in your family. If you believe in and receive it, say amen. Now, let me give you some biblical context. If you're enjoying this today, say amen. If you're receiving right now, say I receive. Now, here's some biblical context. Here, the Bible says that the people of God came over to the waters. And as they came to the waters, the waters was bitter. So they began to complain and mumble and grumble. It's not time for you to complain. It's time for you to be in faith. Why? The man of God, Moshe Moses, takes a piece of wood and he throws it into the water. And suddenly, say suddenly, the bitter waters that were undrinkable, that was poisonous, toxic to the belly, the bitter waters turn into sweet. Are you ready for the sweet honeycomb glory of God? Are you ready for Jesus through the wood, through the cross? Are you ready for the cross to turn your bitter into sweet? The cross, hallelujah, I feel the glory, to turn your brokenness into wholeness, your emptiness into overflowing, your lack into abundance, because he's the God of the turnaround. And it's the wood, the old rugged wood, the cross, that makes the difference. He's turning your bitter into sweet. Now, many of you, you've been crying some bitter tears. In fact, You've been looking like a sour patch. You've had some sour looking faces. <laughs> but God is about to deliver you. And the waters of healing is about to touch your life. 
The waters of the Holy Ghost will replenish you, refresh you, refill you. And the waters of the Ruach Kodesh will become sweet to your soul. Are you ready for the sweetness of God? Now, what does sweetness stand for? Sweetness in the Bible, it stands for God's word. It stands for the glory of God. The land of milk and honey. Honey stands for the sweetness of God's word. So God is turning the bitterness of the soul where you were wandering like a vagabond, questioning God in the wilderness. He's turning that into the glory of the Father's love where his word is being fulfilled and it's coming to pass. I want you to say, mm, mm, mm. this is finger licking good. It's going to be so good that this month <laughs> you are going to rejoice. That's why you see at the upper room, the disciples were shaking and baking and Heidi baking under the new wine. Someone say new wine. My goodness, I prophesy new wine is coming to your bosom. Uncontrollable laughter and joy, drunkenness in the Holy Ghost. Not drunkenness from wine, not drunkenness from other spirits, but the drunkenness of the Holy Ghost. You're going to be so intoxicated off of the ecstatic bliss of Jesus' love. My goodness. You're going to be so intoxicated. You're going to be sloshed and bosh and on the floor because of the love of god ha 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 he 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 she 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 <laughs> bang bang this is a month of the new wine and that is my friends pentecost harvest that is the blessing of shavuot now shavuot that stands for a feast of harvest, really of the barley and the wheat harvest. So Shavuot is the feast of harvest. At Shavuot, hear me now, that was the same time where Moses went up to Mount Sinai and received the Ten Commandments. And he came down with the glory of God blazing and beaming off of his face. Come on. And we know the story. He came down, the Israelites prostituted themselves to a golden calf. My goodness, get ready for judgment in the house of God. Cha, get ready for judgment with the golden calves, skyscrapers, and idols. Amen. So here we see Moses comes down and boom, 3,000 people were killed that day. 3,000. Now, let's fast forward. Hallelujah. Fast forward. Now, 3,000 people get saved on the day of Pentecost because the Apostle Paul stands up and preaches the word. Some would say full circle. Some would say redemption. This is the same Pentecost, Shavuot, Feast of Harvest. It's a harvest of souls. It's a harvest of miracles. A harvest of promises coming to pass. It is a harvest. Some say harvest. It's a harvest of the Holy Ghost. So this month, my friends, there's going to be redemption and harvest. There's going to be full circle. I feel the Holy Ghost. Lift up your hands right now. I prophesy. I declare redemption. Redemption. Reconciliation. The harvest anointing of God shall come upon you. He's the God that healeth thee. He's the God that heals all your diseases. He will put none of the diseases, the infirmities, the sicknesses, the curses that he put upon the Egyptians. You will be so different. Hallelujah. Where the glory of God will be eminent and will be apparent. Off of your life. Someone say I'm being transformed. Because that's what happened in the upper room. They got transfigured. They became like Jesus. Now hear me now. This is a little 
word of revelation. The spirit of the Lord is just unctioning and giving to me right now. Jesus rose again from the grave. And so his resurrection is our resurrection. Amen. However, it was in the upper room, the infilling of the Holy Ghost that actually caused them to be like Jesus. My goodness. Can I preach right now? Resurrection from death is not enough. You also must be filled with God, with the substance that makes it like Jesus. You could be raised from the grave, amen, but you need the substance of salvation living on the inside of your being, of your belly, of your womb. So God's about to fill you. God's filling you. From the top of your head to the sole of your feet. Some will say, Jesus, fill me up to overflow. This is a month of divine filling and great overflow. Some will say, hallelujah. Now, I want to say one more thing because I'm giving you historical, biblical context. This month as well, a very special event happens. It's called Pesach Shani. Pesach is Passover. It just passed in this month of April, Resurrection Sunday. So Pesach, Shani, S-H-E-N-I. And that means second. It's a second Passover. God is so good and so gracious that he gives a second Passover for those who are not able to celebrate the Lord in the first Passover. Why is this important? Because this is a month of second chances. This is a month of a fresh restart and a reset. My goodness. The Lord is going to give you a full circle, opportune time for a second chance. You thought you missed it. You thought you missed God. You thought your timing was off. You were off alignment. Shita Rabba. But the Lord is going to give you a second chance. Pesach shunning. God is so good, so kind, so gracious that those who miss the first Passover, he gives them an opportune time to repent and to turn towards the Lord and to make things right. Somebody say, I receive my second chance. I receive the moment of grace. God is so good. So that is the anointing here, hallelujah, in the month of May, in the month of ER. Now, friends, I want to prophesy three prophetic points for your life this month, in the month of May. Three prophetic points. If you're ready to receive, I want to say amen. If you're ready to receive, I want to say hallelujah. This month, I want to prophesy three prophetic points. And then afterwards, I also want to share what I sense globally of what we can expect and pray into this month of May. But here's the three prophetic points. I shared all of that biblical, historical, rabbinical context to be a foundation for what you can expect from the Lord Jesus Christ according to his word, because he will do it again. Number one, the first prophetic point is healing. I want to say healing. Now, this month, God is going to release an unusual healing anointing upon the body of Christ. Have your finances been depleted? Have you been going through some weird, chaotic, scatterbrain confusion in your soul? God is going to bring healing to your mind. Remember the demoniac. Jesus set the man free. The legion. The man who was filled with the legion. And his mind was set free. And the Bible says the whole region was afraid because he was in his right mind. Remember the parable of the prodigal son. When the prodigal returns, the Bible says he came back to his mind, to his senses. This month, there's going to be healing in your mind, in your heart. There's even going to be healing in your finances. Because many of you have felt like there's been a depletion, a warfare, 
and attack against your finances. But God's going to release healing to your soul, your mind, your body, your family, your finances. There's going to be the healing balm of Gilead that comes upon you. So be loosened now. Now be healed. Shika rebeso. And receive the power of God. So get ready for healing. If you need healing in your body, just lift up your hands right now. And receive that healing grace. Receive the anointing that sets you free from every ailment, infirmity, and bondage. Right now. In Jesus' name. Receive the power of God. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Ikaresetarabrota. Confusion's broken. Insomnia's broken. Deaf ears, blind eyes be open. Even yesterday, we received a report because we prayed for a gentleman named Lloyd in Colorado. And he was an elderly gentleman, probably in his 60s at least. And he had cancer. But he had tumors in his body, in his lungs. Guess what? We prayed for him. The power of God came upon him. He went to the doctor and we received a report that the CT scan shows there's no more tumors in his lungs. He is cancer free. I want to say no more sickness, no more disease, no more pain, no more infirmity. It's not your portion. You will be different from the Egyptians. If you receive it now in your body, say amen. Just come in agreement. I come in agreement. The fire of God from the top of your head to the sole of your feet. Supernatural healing, wholeness in your body, in your life. Number two, the second prophetic point you can expect for this month of ER of May, the month of mega miracles. It is wholeness. I want to say wholeness. Now, we think about wholeness like being whole in your soul. May I propose to you that wholeness stands for completion. It stands for God bringing something to a finish. This month of May, he is going to finish something and start something new. He's going to bring to wholeness and to completion. Hallelujah. What was lacking and what was lagging and behind. This month, there's going to be a wholeness. You're not only going to be healed, but you're going to be whole. And that word wholeness means there's a finishing anointing, a completion. You're going to fully cut ties with the past. Every tie and attachment of the past. It's fully cut and done and finished. Amen. So this month, there's going to be wholeness in every area of your life. Somebody say, Jesus is completing the good work that he began in my life. So get ready to say bye-bye, Felicia. Get ready to say sayonara. Get ready to say see you never. Because God is closing the door. And he's opening the door to the power of God, to the Holy Ghost. If you're with me today, I want to say amen. Somebody shout fire in his place. There's a completion coming, my friends. And there's a, a realm of wholeness that's coming upon the church. And really, it's, it's the power of God that brings wholeness and completion. Not by might, not by strength, but by my spirit, says the Lord. And by the way, on Facebook, Whoever keeps giving me angry faces, thank you, Nancy Pelosi. We appreciate you. The third prophetic point I want to prophesy is harvest. I want you to say harvest. Now, once again, Shavuot, Pentecost, it's a harvest feast. It's harvest time. Harvesting souls, miracles, promises fulfilled. What does harvest mean? Harvest literally means to gather. Are you ready to gather, to collect all of the good that God has been preparing in your life, in the church? Whenever there's an appointed time, there's always great breakthrough, always great 
change that takes place. And let me tell you, friends, this month of May, there's going to be a great harvest of miracles, great harvest of souls, amen, and a great harvest of promises coming to pass. If you receive that, say amen. It's unstoppable. It cannot be stopped. It's harvest season. It is the appointed time of God. So <laughs> hear me now. How much you harvest is dependent on you. How much you receive, collect, gather at Pentecost, harvest, shovel, woe, in the upper room. It's dependent on you. It started with 500 and it ended up 120 at a time span of 10 days. It's dependent, determined by you and your faith. So from now, we are in the counting of the Omer. Not Homer Simpson. The Omer. And the Omer means the wheat. We are in the countdown to harvest. The countdown to harvesting miracles, signs and wonders, the glory of God. I don't know about you, but I want to press in. I want to break through. I don't want to leave the upper room unchanged. And here's the thing, a lot of people, they leave an event, they leave a meeting, they leave a conference, a service unchanged. You got to press in until the fire of God breaks up. You got to tarry, wade in the waters until the shift comes. Push, pray until something happens. You got to birth, my friends. Get the baby out. Hallelujah. And this month of May, it's a month of great harvest. Amen. Now, I want to prophesy three things I believe is happening this month corporately in the world. Now, first and foremost, we just celebrated Israel's 75th year of becoming a nation. 75th. We just celebrated. Why? Because every point in time is aligned with Israel and with the nations. Okay. Jesus. Shatata. So this month of May of ER, there's a few things we need to pray for. Now, I prophesied about the month of April and a great shaking economically and financially. I mean, in the month of April, you saw the crashing of the dollar, and it hasn't even happened yet. But they're building up a U.S. digital currency. They shifted to the Chinese renminbi, UN. You know, and so these packs, but I believe in this month of May, we really need to pray for, we need to pray for Europe and Asia. We need to pray for Europe and Asia. And let me tell you why. There's something going on with Taiwan, Hong Kong, and of course, Russia and China. But I believe in this month of May, we need to look at Asia and we need to look at Europe. And we need to pray for those nations because there's a stirring happening. And the dragon and the bear of Russia, the dragon of China, the bear of Russia, they're making pacts and alliances with different nations in Europe and Asia. So pray against that and pray into that. The second thing we need to pray for is, I believe, Brazil and South America. Brazil and South America. The Lord keeps showing me and highlighting Brazil and South America because there's a revolution taking place in that nation and in those countries. There's a spiritual and a political revolution. So watch out for what's going to take place in Brazil and South America. Now, the third thing I want to release, friends, I believe. There's going to be some indictments this month. There's going to be judgment this month. Even as 3,000 died at the foot of Mount Sinai in the book of Exodus during Shavuot, there's going to be some judgment this month. And it's the righteousness of God. So I believe there's going to be some indictments, some lawsuits, and some backfiring, boomeranging, overturning of things in the courts of heaven and the courts of earth. If you believe, say amen. 
So watch the news. Watch the media. Jesus, I feel the Lord. She got about watch what's going to happen with the IT Silicon Valley, with the banks and corporations, with political groups and parties. In this month of May, not only will there be shaken, but there will be judgment and lawsuits and indictment and overturning in the courts of heaven and the courts of the United States. This month, my friends, in the month of May, watch these words, test these words, and watch what God does. Watch and pray, as the Lord Jesus said. If you believe it and receive it, say amen. Now, friends, I want you to lift up your hands in this place. I want you to pray out loud in the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Pray out loud in the Holy Ghost. I release angels of harvest, angels of healing, the fire and the power of God. That you will be so distinct and different from the last season from Egypt. You will look different, smell different, act different, think different. Everything about you is going to shift and change. I release the power of God even now. Did you know that the fire coming upon the church, the baptism of the Holy Ghost, that's actually judgment against the hordes of hell. You being filled with the Holy Ghost, that's judgment. That is vengeance against the enemy. Did you know that? So God is saying, get ready. Because this is the month of Pentecost. Oh my goodness. Pentecost stands for 50. 5 0, -oh, that stands for Jubilee. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let my people go. He is taking captivity captive. The slaves will be set free. You will be set free from bondage, financial slavery, emotional slavery. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. This month, my friends, this month, there's going to be a great grace, a great grace for freedom, liberation. Jesus, lift up your hands. Lord, I thank you. Let the power of God come. Whatever's blocking their healing, whatever is blocking the completion of God, whatever is blocking the harvest of the Father, I destroy it, I break it, every sabotaging, Jezebel, witchcraft, spirit, rekete, I bind it and I destroy it and I release fire of the Holy Ghost. It's unstoppable. You'll increase your breakthrough, the harvest, the, uh, it's unstoppable. Even believe the same, and now lift up your hands, Lord, I thank you. Right now, release fire. I declare May is a month of mega miracles. May is a month of outpouring and harvest, the promises of the Father being fulfilled. <sighs> Get ready for overturning firing and boomerang effect of Jesus Christ in this month of May. If you believe it, say amen. If you believe it, shout hallelujah. Give us some hearts and likes and say amen. Now listen, I want you to lift up your hands. This is a month of a new birthing. It's a month of birthing of the empowered, spirit-filled church. Do you receive these words? Healing wholeness and harvest you receive the pesach shani anointing the god of the second chances do you receive that pentecost pentateuch if you receive it say amen now in this moment friends as we're in this atmosphere of faith i want you to bless the lord and to sow a seed bless him right now do not delay do not hesitate friends especially during the appointed time in a prophetic time like this, we must sow, like I said, harvest, 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 Pentecost harvest. How much harvest you receive, the overflow is dependent on your attitude and your seed. So right now, friends, I want you to 
to sow and to bless the Lord. And as you sow, I want you to comment Pentecost harvest. Don't leave this broadcast. There's an anointing in the air right now. Don't leave this broadcast, friends. Many people dine and dash. That's okay if you got to go. But I'm telling you, if you believe these words to be true today, I believe it so much that I'm giving you the opportunity to sow into it. I believe in it so much. It's the word of the Lord. If you believe it's the word of the Lord, I want you to say amen, and I want you to sow a seed. And as you sow, comment Pentecost harvest. Is this month get ready for the birthing of the upper room of the harvest, the holy, the promises of God to be fulfilled in your life? Amen. And just receive the healing of God. Just receive the breakthrough of God. Amen. Claudia Hayden, Elaine Abrahams, Kim Miller, God bless you. Thank you, Lord. Lani Angel Jalut, amen. Bless you. I come in agreement. Melissa Filler, I come in agreement. Hallelujah. Tiffany Johnson, DC, I come in agreement. Zeraba, come on, so in faith and an expectation. Marilyn, Sandy Mateo, amen. See, got a Sandy, yeah, amen. Double on you, Sandy Mateo. Mayo, Biana, Mayo, Havayana. UCR Ross Church. Rachel Richardson, come on, somebody. Thank you, Lord, for those who are given even on YouTube. Amen. Agamam, Agimam. Rob Filler, Colleen Jules. Thank you, Lord. Come on, come in agreement, friends. Pam, Tammy Scott. Thank you, Lord. So with faith and an expectation. Hallelujah. In this moment, give unto the Lord and watch what happens. Courtney Riddle, Deborah Walker, Claudia Hayden, amen. Becky Weaver, Courtney Riddle. Thank you, Lord. Come on, miracles are taking place. Hetty Mills, Sherry Withron. Come on, Pentecost Harvest, my friends. This is an appointed time of God. Tyler McDonald. Ziba Barata Torabrosa. Likian Samuel Guavis. Jesus. Angels are coming to you, friends. Glory to God. Araman de Rabosa. God's going to answer by fire. He's going to answer with promise. He's going to answer with evidence of the Holy Ghost. Vicky, Davidson, Doris, Amner, Juan Martinez, thank you for being a subscriber. As well, Margaret K., thank you for being a subscriber. Elliot Ship, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hey, 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 hey. Elaine Abraham. Come on, sow with faith and an expectation, my friends. The power of God is here. Sabrina, God bless you. Thank you, Lord. Come on, bless them with faith and an expectation. I'm going to give another 40 seconds or so before we move on, but in this moment where the glory is present bless the lord ashley de la garza thank you lord thank you lord shiba babara tata see thank you susan early for being a subscriber Carolyn Ward, bless you. Thank you, Lord. Get your seed in the ground, my friends. Hallelujah.
Hey, thank you, Lisa Wallace. God bless you. Come on, tap and agree. Touch and agree. Jennifer Evie, God bless you. Nukumu Ia Mervele, God bless you. Ashley Rains, God bless you. Thank you, Lord. Shara la la ba. We come in agreement. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Good to see you, Prophet Terry Nancy. Your husband and your son sitting right next to me here. Oh, hallelujah. Come on, people of God. I'm going to give it a little bit more before we shift. If you believe in the word of the Lord and the word of the prophet, bless his name and watch what happens. The Bible says in Malachi chapter 3, I test you in this. Test the Lord. Crystal Hodge, God bless you. Tyler McDonald, happy birthday, man. Happy early birthday. Love you, my friend. Speaking great grace and blessing to you. Jesus. Rese tarabrata tarabrata. Thank you, Lord. Now let's all bless the Lord. Let's clap our hands, amen, and give the Lord some hearts and likes. Praise God. Thank you so much, Mr. Lord. Now, friends, listen, it's not too late for you to join our conference today and tomorrow. We have a wonderful conference, a wonderful conference. It's not too late. And um, oh, also, we need Route 66 Revival graphic, Dolores. I forgot to mention that. But tonight, actually today, in a few hours, we're doing a VIP panel at 2 p.m. Pacific Standard. Myself, Shay Hamilton, and John Ramirez, the three of us. And there's going to be a time of prayer and impartation. If you want to join online just for that VIP panel, you can register online at our website. Now, friends, don't miss it. You will have access to that panel forever, I believe online but you need to register and just if you want to just be a part of the vip online panel okay and we're gonna give you uh yeah just go on and register there all right so we open it up just for the vip online panel amen so that's tonight and tomorrow and i'm really excited because most of the people at the conference, I bet I've never seen them in my life before. <laughs> and a lot of them, they're really hungry and they need deliverance. They need freedom. You can see it in their eyes and face. They're hungry. So I'm very happy to see these people. And uh, I'm really excited to minister tomorrow. Like I, I'm just going to let it rip tomorrow. So, And tomorrow night, Saturday night, I'm going to lay hands on everybody. And I'm going to pray for every single person tomorrow night. So, and tonight, Evangelist John Ramirez is ministering, so don't miss it. Don't miss it. Jump in the river, get into glory, and register. You could even register at the door. But come forth, my friends. If you're coming or joining, say coming or joining. And uh, next week, I'm going to be in Arizona. All right? I'm ministering, hallelujah, four nights straight. I love Arizona. So come and see me if you are in the Arizona area. Next week, but specifically, I want to highlight um, the weekend conference, um, Arizona Revival Glory, with my friend, Prophet Jesse Shamp. Okay, I love Prophet Jesse. I love the Shamp family. They're a family of prophets. We love them. We honor them. I believe there's a covenant there in the spirit. But uh, myself and Prophet Jesse Shamp, we're going to be ministering in Arizona. And literally Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, I'll be ministering four days straight in Arizona. So come see me, friends. The week after that, I will be in Pennsylvania. I'll be in Lebanon, Palmyra, Pennsylvania. Three days of glory. Now, God has been moving powerfully. We've been seeing revival breakouts in Pennsylvania. 
So friends, um, come through, come through. If you're in the East Coast, you need to be there. Drive in from New Jersey, New York, from, uh, you know, uh, Atlantic City. Hallelujah. Wink, wink. Drive in, friends, and uh, your life will be the God is most. The Amish and the Mennonites are getting so blasted in these meetings in Pennsylvania. It's so incredible. We're seeing revival amongst the Mennonites and Amish. Come and join and see us there. Um, I also want to let you know, guys, in the month of June, I am doing a one-month tour on Route 66 Highway, doing tent revivals from Chicago all the way to L.A. the whole month of June. Tent revivals, my friends. And listen, it's a big endeavor. Who here knows that America needs Jesus? America needs the gospel. Wow. And last year, we did 13 cities. But this year we're doing eight cities and we're extending the days of revival. And I'm telling you, water baptisms, miracle signs and wonders. Oh, just so powerful. We're going to go from Chicago to St. Louis to Kansas City to Tulsa to Amarillo to Albuquerque to Flagstaff to Los Angeles. And guys, we have a number of special treats, guests along the way. Wow. Keep us in prayer, guys. St. Louis, Chicago, these cities need it. L.A., Albuquerque, these cities. And you know what? We, we just rented out an amphitheater in Albuquerque, I think 700-seater. In Los Angeles, we're about to, in Pasadena, rent out an amphitheater. That could fit hundreds to thousands. So we're believing for a mega harvest this June. Route 66 revival. Now, friends, if you want to be a missionary for a week or for the whole month, join us. We are looking for genuinely interested people to be a part of our missions team, traveling with us, setting up tents, tearing down, doing evangelism. Cha! Ruskata! Seeing revival. In the United States, we're not going to Africa, even though Africa needs it. We're not going to Mexico. This is the United States of America. So, friends, even you that are watching in Korea or Indonesia, other countries, pray about joining because the whole month, the whole month of June, we, our ministry, we've committed ourselves to doing missions and evangelism, soul winning, gospel preaching in the United States, the whole month, amen. So if you're interested in joining us, I want to say I'm interested and email us at root66revival at gmail.com, root66revival at gmail.com. I, I want you to join us, okay, because we're gonna be in eight cities, not 13, we're gonna be in eight cities, Chicago, St. Louis, Kansas City, Tulsa, uh, Amarillo, Albuquerque, Flagstaff, Los Angeles, eight cities, the home of the, and you know what? We have Jake Hamilton joining us two times. We have other people joining us as well. So we need the harvest. We have a family coming from Hawaii joining us, family from Atlantic City, our coordinators for Route 66 this year. We want to see families and children, Prophet David. We want to see families and children. So we want to see young people on fire. Amen. From Pennsylvania, from Arizona, New Mexico, Colorado. You know, these are some of my hubs, my family, my band fan. I want to see young people, families, married couples coming to missions in the United States. The month of June. So consider joining us, whether in one city or for a week, for the whole month. So you're going to be hearing a lot more from me about that in the coming weeks and days amen and you could email us at root 66 revival at gmail.com root 66 revival at gmail.com um next in the month of 
in the month of uh, October, September. I'm going to Israel. Have you ever been to the Holy Land? Friends, it's not only for you to join, register, sign up. Israel. Join me in Israel. This is going to be life-changing. Friends, I really believe it's going to be more and more difficult. It's going to be more and more difficult for us to go to Israel in these last days. So you need to go before we step into the new Israel, okay? And your life will never be the same again. Walk where Jesus himself walked. The land of the Bible where Abraham, Elijah, Sarah, Deborah, Gideon, where the Bible patriarchs, matriarchs walked and lived. So come and join us. We still have some slots open. Amen. And last but not least, I do have an online group mentorship called 7M Glory Equip. Man, these, these people are world changers. I'm so proud of them. I love all of them dearly. If you want to be a part of a group filled with light, world changers and you want to be mentored by me and be more closer in proximity with me, I invite you, consider joining this group called 7M Glory Equip. Now, if you join 7M Glory Equip, number one, we have at least two private Zooms a month. Number two, you are part of a private telegram where there's a lot of love and prayer and activity in the private telegram. Number three, you get discounts and exclusive access to events, conferences, and different things that we're doing. And then number four, of course, you have greater proximity and access to me. I would love to mentor you. I would love to pour into you. I would love to. Uh, walk with you and and really in these days we need more and more true men of God, women of God. We need coverings. We need the true apostles and prophets to arise. So consider joining. I would love to mentor you, pastor you, walk with you in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, friends, before we close, I want to invite my friend here, Prophet David. Amen. Prophet David Yancey. He is from Fresno. Him and his wife, Tara, incredible ministers, emerging, rising ministers. But uh, he, him and his son, came down from Fresno. And uh, I just want to invite you here to the broadcast. You're going to have to, yeah, just bring your chair here. Everybody just welcome my good friend, Prophet David Yancey. Oh. Everyone say hello. Praise God. Yeah, why don't you, why don't you lean, lean a little bit, just a little bit. Now, Prophet David Yancey, did you enjoy last night? Oh, last night was amazing. Last night was, yeah. I think was, uh, the worship was incredible, and then the word that he brought was just, it was powerful. It was powerful. It was transformative. What did Jake, ha Jake Hamilton preached yesterday. What did he talk about? Speak a little louder. Okay, so Jake, he brought a word that was, I mean, it was a multifaceted word, which is just so kingdom, but talking about um, bringing a good definition of what is kingdom and kingdom is family and restoring uh, that which God intended for the family to have, that which uh, the, the seated positions of authority that family unity is supposed to have. And it is, it's a transformative word. It's, it's a word that penetrates deep into the soul, into the spirit. And uh, man, it was just, there was just so much power. Yeah. Yeah. He, he really just blows right past the status quo. <laughs> yeah. Blows right past the status quo and uh, goes to the root issue of. Uh, of what it means to just steward that family relationship. Come on, amen. Yeah. Now, um, today's gonna be exciting. You you were the other speaker when I was in Korea in October. So we were ministering together as both invited guests in Korea. How was that? And that was my first time meeting you there too. Yeah, no, Korea was so powerful and it was just such a God connection, man. I mean, just thoroughly thank the Lord that he brought us together. And uh, just, but the time in Korea was fabulous. There were so many people touched. Uh, people were, were saying that, you know, the who's who's come to town, but they'd never seen anything like what uh, came from the conference God. when we were together. And there was just, it's a God connection. And I believe it's not just, uh, it wasn't just for Korea, although it was for that moment, but I believe it's for the state of California. I think there's prophetic uh, gold in that connection uh, for the, 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 the convergence for the West Coast. Yeah, convergence. Yeah. And you're in Fresno. I mean, most of, if you don't know where Fresno is, it's just like center of California. 
It's very hot there. A lot of farm agriculture. It needs it needs Jesus. And uh, you and your wife, you're there. You're getting planted, and your son is here, Lucas. Amen. We're about to go out for lunch in a little bit. But uh, what's just a quick word? Why don't, why don't you just talk to the people real quick? Just release a quick word in Jesus' name. Come on, everybody, give the prophets of hearts and likes. Hallelujah. Right now, the Lord is really doing a mighty work of bringing things back to the Father Himself. And, and that's something that, that Jake touched on last night that's really just been resonating in my spirit. Uh, just about 10, 12 days ago, the Lord said to me, you've done well with stewarding your relationship with uh, uh, the Holy Spirit. You've done well with Jesus, but it's time to come back into the Father. God is a God of completeness. He is a God of, of, of the entire package. And right now, one of the things that we're seeing is uh, the effect of fatherlessness, not just in the world, but in the church. And God is saying that he's going to restore that. When we can come back to the Father, we can come back and just sit with our Father and in, in the most transformative and powerful type of way. And, and you know, I love all the, um, the, the things that people say and do about, you know, sitting in daddy's lap and all this other stuff. But there's, there's something that is really just raw and pure about coming to Father God, the one who put, had this master plan from before the foundation of the world to bring you, bring you union with you to himself by manifesting in the flesh by sending his spirit as a promise for now and this is all an orchestration to bring his family back into unity and i believe that that is where god is right now you're seeing him pour out on this next generation yeah. he is all over gen z right now yeah. all over them and 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 why do you think the, the world is going so hard after them to change to to pervert their minds and or to distract them and get them addicted to this right here where, you know, these five second videos and next and next and next. The enemy is going after them. Why? Because God is going after them. And what we have to do is partner with that blueprint of heaven and go after this next generation. Come on. Listen, it isn't about my generation. And, and, and I know people get upset about like, oh, we always dismiss the, the old and the, it, well, God is doing a new thing and he needs the old to come together in partnership with that new thing so that we can progress that and grab the next generation because I'm not raising up just myself and my own family. I'm raising up my sons and my son's sons and their sons. This is something that God spoke to me last year. He said, uh, he, he said, he called me a father and I said, God, I'm not even a son. And he said, no, 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 what you do right now is what your sons that haven't been born yet are going to learn from. And God is always looking to the future. The prophetic is always about the future. If your prayers have no prophetic edge to them, you're not even speaking his language. It's all about releasing that synergy with the Holy Ghost for the future. We've all been called kings and priests. And when, when the Lord released the blueprint on the, the arraignment of the priest, he didn't even say, bring me the best tailors that you got it says he sent the spirit yeah. of wisdom and Come revelation on. upon them because you can't create without that synergy with the spirit god could do it on his own but he doesn't want to do it on his own he wants to do it in partnership with you god doesn't need angels and he doesn't need man he want, he chooses us yeah. he chooses a heavenly family he chooses an earthly family and what he wants to do in the earth he wants to do through you and that is with where that comes from coming into the father coming into his heart finding out what is on his heart and then going out and releasing it upon the earth come on now you just released a new book i did called mantles of glory yes mantles of glory so if you want to learn more about mantles and different type of mantles prophet david has just released a new book called mantles of glory that's right and where to get where can they get that find it so you, you can find it on amazon or you can go to our website gloryculturintl.com and pick it up there uh, it is something i believe is a now word it talks about uh, spiritual garments and mantles available to every believer as well as uh, special anointings that will come upon you for a moment or a task that god releases from the throne room and we break down all the characteristics and traits of the armor of god we're not called the armor of an earthly soldier we are called to put on these garments from the wardrobe of Yahweh. Yes. Amen. And you can find that at glory, gloryculture.intl.com. Gloryculture.intl.com. Now, Lord, thank you. Bless your people today. Let every word that was spoken come to pass. 
Friends, God bless you. This is Dr. Pastor Ben Lim and Prophet David Yancey. Happy May. We will see you soon. Amen. Bless you guys. Love you. Give us a like and a share. Subscribe, follow. Thanks for joining.